I'm going to get out of my personal bitterness. Whether it's something that I'm angry about that I need to let go. Whether it's something that's a personal challenge that I need to overcome. Whether it's something that's a challenge in my environment that I need a salvation from God from. This is our prayer. By the end of the Haggadah, we say, yes, we've talked about the Exodus, but I want to use this as an opportunity to make a prayer to be saved from the moror, from the bitterness. And I'd like to make one additional point. The Haggadah goes to great lengths earlier on when it's interpreting all the verses to say, Ani Hashem, I am the Lord your God. It was I who took you out of Egypt. Ani v'lo malach. I took you out of Egypt. It wasn't the messenger. It's not that Moses took us out of Egypt. God took us out himself. Ani v'lo hashaliach. It wasn't through any kind of messenger. Ani hu v'lo acher. It was me. It was I. And no one else. No one else took us out of Egypt. It was God himself. This is not an opportunity for God's various surrogates, his army of angels to come and redeem us. When it comes to the Exodus, it's a personal thing. God takes us out personally. I'd like to connect that idea with what we've been talking about so far. Notice how we said that the Exodus is not about simply the entire nation of Israel. Some mass, some impressionistic view of the masses of Israel getting out of Egypt. No. There's something much more personal about Exodus, about the Yitziat Mitzrayim, about going out of Egypt. It's me. It's not someone else. It's not someone from a long time ago. It's not my neighbor. It's me. I have my own exodus, which I'm praying for, which I'm hoping for, which may be through reflection by sourly wrote, by spending one more moment on that matzah to think about what it means. Maybe I can ask God and pray that I can get out of that, of that, of that, that difficulty, that bitterness. Maybe the potential for getting out of that bitterness is right here right at the season of Pesach, and particularly at the night of the Haggadah. Maybe that's the greatest potential. So we we say that God is making it personal, and I'm making it personal. God says, I'm going to take you out directly through no messenger, no one else. Me directly. And I say, I'm not interested in some simply communal exodus. I'm not, I'm not satisfied to be simply part of the general redemption of the world, the redemption of the Jewish people. That's good. But I have another goal as well. Ani, I, the individual, I also need my redemption on a personal level. And therefore, look what we have here on Pesach. We have God is making His personal effort to redeem us with no intermediary. And we have me, the individual, who say, I don't want to be redeemed as some blob of the Jewish people. I want a personal redemption. And the individual calling out to God saying, I want a personal relationship. I want a personal exodus. And God saying, I'm there. I'm here to make you your personal exodus. This is the coming together of God and the Jewish people. One to one. God and the Jewish people together. And that may explain it's on Pesach that we read the Shira Shirin, the Song of Songs. And the Song of Songs is not how God and the Jewish people have a love affair in the abstract. God in the abstract, the Jewish people in the abstract have a love affair with God. Oh yes, over the centuries, Jews have loved God. Jews have shown great devotion. No. Song of Songs, the book that Solomon wrote, which we read on Pesach, this book speaks of a personal connection with God. It's a personal story of love. It's God who knocks at the door and says, let me in. And it's me who sometimes says, I'm not sure I already went to sleep. I'm not really ready for guests. Come back another time. And God walks away disappointed. Then, sitting in bed, I say, why did I let God go away and slip away? I could have answered the door. It's no big deal. I could have put on my robe. Quick, maybe it's not too late. And I run to the door. As I run to the door, I open the door. I put my hand on the doorknob. I open it up. And our, my beloved God is gone. The moment is lost. That moment where God knocked on my personal door 
and I had an opportunity to respond as an individual, sometimes that moment is squandered. Challenge of Pesach. It's not some mystical magic that, that on that night of, of Pesach, we automatically are freed from Exodus, from, from, from Egypt. The idea of Pesach is that if I sorrily wrote, if I turn my attention, if I'm able to focus on the mitzvahs of the night and take it seriously and think about what my Exodus is, then maybe when I open the door, God will be there. and will be there for a personal encounter in that moment where I close my eyes as I chew that matzah. And God and I will meet. And He'll say, I'm here to redeem you. And I'll say, I'm ready to be redeemed. I'm ready to go out of my personal straits and together, not only with me as an individual, but all of the Jewish people were ready to be redeemed, were ready for that redemption. I want to thank you for joining us today here at the Anshis Fire Beth Alameth Congregation. Looking forward to further webcasts. I want to personally thank one who made this, this webcast possible. That's Jason Lefkowitz and his studios. Thank you so much, Jason. And Yashiach uh, Ocha, that you continue to be able to do many wonderful mitzvot on behalf of the Memphis Jewish community. And I want to let you know about some things that are coming up, other opportunities, learning opportunities. Tonight at the Marlin Hebrew Academy, find Son Yeshiva of the South. The Kol El Torah Mitzion has a wonderful program at 7.30 to 8.45 to 8.37. Tonight at the Academy, all the rabbis of the community participating. This Sunday, we have a wonderful opportunity at Akiva Institute. Come to davening, come to our breakfast at, at 9 o'clock, come to the, our different classes at 9.30, or for latecomers, second class at 10.30. All kinds of opportunities about Pesach, special blessing over the sun, which we'll be saying this the eve of Pesach this year on April 7th. Also, I welcome questions. If people have questions about today's presentation, if people would like to uh, discuss future topics, like more mystical thoughts from the, from the Svat Emet, we can do that, uh, holiday topics, Parsha topics, contemporary issues, halakha, issues of Jewish law, beginners courses, whatever you'd like, just email us. I, my email is rabbijmf at gmail.com. Rabbijmf, my initials, at gmail.com. So thank you so much for joining us, and we look, look, look forward to joining you on further occasions next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, not Thursday, because uh, we're moving to Tuesdays now. Next two Tuesdays, we'll be meeting at 12 o'clock for our next live webcast from the Anche Svard Beth Congregation. Thank you.